Instagram stories right now are the hot spot, but there's ways to use them. Now, if you are on Instagram, you probably watch my stories here on my Instagram stories from Unstoppable Mama. This is where I really talk about branding. But Unstoppable Family and my daughter, Hanalei Swan, she's getting thousands and thousands of eyeballs because we are heavy in stories. And I was never really heavy on my Instagram page in stories because I didn't think people wanted it. I didn't think they were going there. But we go heavy in stories on Facebook. So now what's happening is this. We have to hit, go heavy on your stories, but most importantly, it has to be congruent content. Congruent posted content. That means if you have a brand or if you have a topic, everyone relies on you when they see what your page is about, right? Whether it's Instagram or it's Facebook. But what if in your stories, you are, you know, let's say you run an auto business, but you're showing stuff about your kids at church. You're showing stuff about your cats. You're losing your audience. I listened to uh, one of the top podcasts this morning, and they said, uh, um, what's her, Sue Zimmerman said, why we're seeing such a decrease in people's story values is because they're not making their, their uh, content congruent with their brand. That means whether it's on pages or it's on Instagram, on Facebook, if your content isn't congruent with your brand and stories, people are passing you by. Why? Because you give them a bio on Instagram, you give them your, what you're all about on your, on your Facebook page, and if all of a sudden your content completely changes and you are not consistently in front of them, they're gonna bypass you. And if your audience doesn't consistently, on a daily basis, watch and flick through your content, your stories, guess what? You are being dropped to the very bottom of the algorithm. That means if you notice on Instagram, you'll see the stories at the top. Your top people that you engage with and you watch stories for are the ones that show up. But you'll notice that's the same thing that happens for you. If you are not creating content, that means using graphics, that means using swipe ups or on Facebook, linking, connecting, and sharing what your, your content is about consistently, you're going to be dropped to the bottom of the algorithms. And that's why you'll see right now on Facebook pages, a drastic decrease in visibility. Mark Zuckerberg just was at a big conference it was about, a, about two weeks ago, and he announced it. And he said, we are now, of course, the way Mark Zuckerberg talks, is like, we are now um, only showing content and brands, people that, that we want it to be social. So we want it to be brands that are interacting. Ding, ding, ding. As a marketer, I immediately thought about, well, how am I interacting with my audience? Think about it. How are you interacting with your audience? If you are on a Facebook page, right? You have a business page, like I'm running my show here. My show also syndicates, and I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna I'll actually be able to show slides today on how to syndicate your content and become omnipresent. But if you are on your page and you are not actually interacting, okay? So social media, uh, Facebook and Instagram created their the personal pages so you personally interact with your audience, right? That means you, maybe your mom, your friends, your kids, whatever that might be on your personal page. That's what they want it to be is they want it to be social. So if you are making a post and you're doing video but you're not interacting with your commenters or you're not going to other people's content as a personal page, guess what? Your personal page is no longer being seen. In fact, they're only showing about 6% of your audience is seeing your content. But now let's talk about us as business owners. What about our business content? What's happening there? Exact same thing. This is why your page uh, engagement and page views and reach has gone down drastically. Are you going to other pages and commenting as your page, as your brand? If you're not doing that, same thing with stories, your content and your page all the way down to the bottom. That means they're not showing it because why? They want you to pay to play. But there's a couple sneaky things I'm gonna show you guys today on how to become omnipresent, how to trick the algorithms a bit, and how to showcase your content in a congruent fashion, consistently, right? I'm looking at my board here, congruency. And guys, being on brand, okay? Being on brand, whether it's in stories, whether it's in posts. Your content has to be on brand. And if you now begin to maintain your consistency, Right now, if I post just a regular post here on my Unstoppable Mama page, 
it is like crickets. Like it used to get thousands of views. It's like crickets now. So how do we trick the algorithms and get our brand to get our content in front of the right people and in front of the right eyeballs without overly paying to play? I hate to tell you guys, but this is the game. You are going to have to pay to play in order to get yourself in front of more people. But let's talk about ways that we can trick those algorithms. Remember how I said I was throwing that content at the very top, how to actually become omnipresent and taking one piece of content, but showcasing it across all your platforms. That's what Gary Vee is doing. He's not just creating uh, pounds and pounds and tons of content. Certainly Gary Vee is a content producer, but what he's doing is he's taking and he's syndicating the right content to the right people on a consistent basis. Now, let me just share with you, how many of you have started right? You're, 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 maybe you're producing content, you're a storyteller, you're doing great posts, you have a business, maybe you're running some ads, and then it's stop. What happens? Did you know that we as marketers and as brands are solving problems for our clients? But what happens if you crack the problem for your customer and your client by using a great video and having maybe a great live and great stories, but then you completely drop, meaning you stop with your content or you don't follow through with your content or they go, let's say to your Instagram page and it's just crickets. It's not congruent with what they just saw on Facebook or same thing on Instagram, or maybe they're just consumers on Instagram. They saw your badass story and they went to your timeline. And it was just flat. If you are not creating omnipresent content that is congruent in your client, your followers eyes, guess what? Subconsciously they're gone.